Hello guys, so Jerry speaking, welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 295, today I read you, Sesame Street, Elmo's Loves You, um, logo book release, so let's read it down, shall we, so we got for us, Sesame Street, Elmo Loves You, this is logo book release, published, it's written by, um, Sarah Alby, illustrated by, um, Maggie Swanson, published by Golden Book New York Lease, copyright 1997, 2014, Sesame Workshop, our reserve. This is Elmo Helps You Love His Poem, poem by Elmo. But anyway, see here's an Elmo poem. I know it's a play Valentine's Day special, but you gotta put, trust me in this Sesame Street poem thing. But anyway, everyone loves something. Babies love noise. Birds love singing. It all makes sense now in any way. So, very going now, even though it's a Valentine's Day thing. It's almost March right now, so I'm telling you about this. Next page. Anyway. Kids love toys. Bird loves pigeons. Pigeon loves to cool. Okay. Can you guess what Emma loves? Emma loves you. Mm hmm. Makes sense in any way, even though it's a different kind of thing you want to see every day. So, there you go or not. Next page. Anyway. Piggies love to roll in the mud. Pig penguins love the snow. Mm hmm. It all makes sense now, anyway. I love the pigs, because, you see, hugging pigs is more different than me to hug people, you know, makes more sense than anyway. So there you go. Next page. Anyway. Farmers love to wake up early. Roosters love to crawl. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, there we go. So yeah, it always make more sense, even though it's a huge difference between the cows and things like that. So there you go on that. So there's your answer to your question. Next page. Zoe loves the library. Grover loves it as well. Emma listens quietly. Emma loves you. So yeah, it all makes sense now anyway. So, it's a Valentine's Day poem. So, there you go now. Even though it's different from anyway. Next page. Anyway. Count loves uh, counting things. How does Emma love you? Let me count the ways. Emma loves to drum. And it kind of reminds me. Steven Adler, um, let's just say, uh, another drummer named Phil Rudd of ACDC, um, uh, I can't remember his name, um, Law Argrig and things like that. There's a lot of drummers going on to heavy metal bands that I like, so there you go, and it's a lot of drums, so there you go. Next page, anyway. Go for the bird. Moss love to exercise. Wow. And yes, Harry Moss was in this exercising part, so there you go on that. Mm hmm. Next page. Anyway, kids love bubble gum. Mm hmm. Natasha or Daddy loves playing peekaboo. But psst, before you turn the page, Emma loves you. Mm hmm. Thank you, um. Elmo, much appreciate that. You know, that's just me, of course. Next page. Anyway, monkeys love bananas. Makes sense, anyway. And kids love school. Mm hmm. It just all makes sense now, anyway. So, there you go. Oh, yeah, and Burn, Burn made a cameo appearance on that page. Next page. Grouches love trash. What a dump. Wow. Big Rob loves the pool. Look out below. Uh, I don't know about this, big bird. You just have to do something about this whole love difference. So, there you go. Now. Even though, you know, big bird loves the nest better than this. So, there you go. Next page. Anyway. Everyone loves something that every... Elmo told you this was true. 
And now I'm on. Uh, now you know what Emma loves. Emma loves you. Before he ends his poem, Emma wants to ask you this: Will, will you be Emma's Valentine? Can Emma have a kiss? Of course I will. Emma, so you know, as a Blade Valentine's Day episode of the Bedtime Stories, you know I even make more difference than that. So there you go. The last page of the book says this: Thank you. Emma is a happy monster. And there you go. That's the best way to end this book. Right there. So that was, um, Elmo Loves You, Sesame Street, Little Gold Book Edition. What did I think about this book? I think it was amazing. So far, this book was a success. That was Bedtime Stories episode number, um, 295. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Next one's gonna be Bedtime Stories episode number 296, which will be a Greek of the Goddess book, which I got recently. Now, my excuse me, I gotta go to bed and edit my project and things like that. Till next time, so just Bob's a baby. Come on, Mr. Sue. Till next out. See ya.